U.S. national team player, Jordan Morris. And Jordan, five years ago this week, it was U.S.-Mexico, and it was your first ever start for the U.S. men's national team. And I was going through some old uh, previews leading into this game. Nowhere would you find a mention of Jordan Morris. A lot of the conversation, of course, was on the rivalry uh, around the influx of Mexican-Americans that were on the U.S. team. But nobody was talking about this 20-year-old sophomore from Stanford University who was only on the roster because Clint Dempsey was injured and Josie Altidore was out. And yet you get your first ever start versus Mexico. I want to go back to that five years ago. How did you get the news that you were making your first international start versus L3? Yeah, uh, we were training in the uh, in the Al Alamo Dome the day before the game, and uh, Jurgen came up to me before training and just told me I was going to start. And I remember just looking around, uh, picturing it full the next day, and obviously super excited. But uh, the nerves started kicking in um, right when he told me. So uh, it was a uh, just a, a crazy moment. What What did you do with that news? Did Did you alert family and friends, or did you just internalize it? Um, I think I let, you know, had practice to, to internalize it and think about it. And then, yeah, right when I got back in the locker room, I texted my family and, uh, and let them know. And I think they were just as shocked as I was, honestly. So, um, but uh, everyone was excited and, and looking forward to the game. Who stepped up in that locker room to kind of take you under their wing and, and calm you down or, or give you some advice ahead of this big game? Uh, I think what I remember is, is Michael, uh, Michael Bradley coming up to me in training um, I think you could tell I was nervous. We, we were scrimmaging with who was going to be the starters and um, the, the reserves in, in that game. And, and uh, he came up to me and he said, um, you know, gave me some, some words of advice and just asked me what kind of runs I like to make, kind of trying to figure me out more as a player because we hadn't um, played together much. And I think that just connection um, made me feel more comfortable when he said he, he would find me in the game. So, Game scoreless at halftime, early minutes of the second half you see a fortuitous bounce fall in your path. Take me through that moment that led to your first international goal. Speaking of Michael, he uh, made a great play and, and, you know, spun out of a couple defenders. And um, I think he was trying to play uh, Giassi and the ball got deflected. And um, like you said, it was definitely a fortuitous bounce and, and landed at my feet. And um, I was able to take a touch and, and fortunately slide it by the keeper. But it was just a rush of emotion after that. I, I remember, some people I just kind of kind of you know blacked out and didn't really know what was going on and, and um, just that whole celebration watching it back I don't I don't really um, remember it too much because it was just such a rush of emotion a, a dream come true so um, especially in a game against Mexico like that game winning goal so how did that goal how did that result how did that start impact your career going forward from that point yeah I mean I think it was definitely um, kind of like you said my, my coming out party a little bit with the with the national team and um you know it was as, as a college kid I always dreamed of of course playing for the national team I think everyone um growing up in this in this country playing soccer has that dream but I never thought um it would happen at, at that early stage you know being in college it's hard to to be seen and some some fortunate things had to happen but um I think it definitely helped to to accelerate my career to where where it is now and I'm just fortunate um that, that you're gonna give me that opportunity Real quick, what was the reaction when you went back to campus after that? Uh, it was, my team was, was, was great. Uh, my friends, you know, still making fun of me like always. And I think the cool part that I, that I love about Stanford is, is you would go back and you'd be surrounded by guys, uh, people that, you know, um, won gold medals or, or participated in the Olympics were doing just a, a amazing things. Um, so it, it didn't seem like, like too big of a deal, you know. Jordan. Thanks, man. Pleasure to see you. Good luck. We can't wait to see you on the field with Seattle. Yeah, thank you so much. Appreciate it. For the best soccer content anywhere on the internet, follow Fox Soccer on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube.